Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today I'm here to share with you a devotional uh, entitled Defeating the Giants. And uh, and, and really this, this uh, uh, scripture that I'm going to be reading to you now is from 1 Samuel chapter 17. Uh, I'll allow you know that this is the story of David and Goliath. And, and so I'm just going to read uh, a portion of it. Uh, not a whole, whole lot, but does it get the general point of this devotion? Uh, let's start with verse 45 through uh, 51. And it reads uh, from the modern English version <clears throat> Then David says to the Philistines, You come to me with a sword, a spear, in a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have reviled. This day will the Lord deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. Then I will give the corpse of the Philistines' camp this day to the birds of the air and to the beasts of the earth. So that all the sorry, all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and then all this assembly will know that it is not by sword and spear that the Lord saves, for the battle belongs to the Lord, and He will give you into our hands. When the Philistine arose and came near to meet David, David hurried and ran towards the battle line to meet the Philistine. David put his hand in his bag and took him there, a stone, and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead. Therefore the stone stuck into his forehead and fell upon his face to the ground. So David uh, prevailed over the first thing with a sling and with a stone and he struck down the first thing and stole him but there was no sword in the, day, in the hand of David therefore David ran and stood over the first thing then he took his sword and drew it from out of his of a cheek and he he finished him off and cut him, uh, cut, uh, uh, and he cut off his head with it. All right, so we see this there. That David uh, defeated uh, Goliath, and and I like in verse uh, forty-five. It says, um, "You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a shield, but I come to you." In the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of is uh, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have reviled. So, we ought to come with the Lord, with all hearts, with all soul, with all strength. We 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 got to understand that our battle is not carnal, but spiritual. Uh, even even Paul says that we tear down demonic stronghold by using spiritual weapons. For example, uh, so let me read to you uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse, uh, where is it? Verse three: For well, though we walk in a in, in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapon for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Here's the point. God wants us to understand that that we gotta keep our minds renewed. 
See, the enemy is trying to attack your mind. And and, and you know how, how Satan tempts? Within your mind. Because you thought about, oh man, I'm, I'm going to be having sex with that person. Or or your mind wanders that, that you're hungry for a double cheeseburger or... or or going to the buffet line and, and, and really be gluttonous. But I understand, you know, the, the Lord wants us to know for a fact that we got to let the Lord fight our battles for us. Even if, even if we go through divorce, even if we go through children, uh, children custody, even going through... Um, of uh, job loss, you know, put all your worries onto the Lord. Well, that, that what the Apostle Peter says uh, in uh, First Peter, <clears throat> and really realize that that God is a God which, that that really restores everything. You know, God will God will return seven times what the enemy has stolen. Um. Even if we see Job, um, he lost everything, and yet, and yet he repented at the end because he he, he was not. Uh, it, it, no, he's really not doubting it, but more of so questioning God and God uh, show him a lot of things, and Job repented. That he is God. That he is Lord. He is in control. So my encourage you to uh, my encouragement to you is is that <clears throat> you know sur surrender all to Jesus Christ. You know this is this is our benefit for for trusting in the Lord through the hardships through um, through if if you're going through a dry season right now, uh, the Lord is there with you. To prepare you to to your next season, uh, I believe that it is very, very important to to read the Word of God, to to not let the enemy control your thoughts, not let the enemy uh, have a place, you know, to you know, to 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 to, uh, to make you fall, basically. Um, oh, you know, always be. Um, grateful for the, what the Lord is doing in your life. Uh, to defeat the enemy, to defeat these giants, we ought to submit to the Lord. You know, uh, the Bible says that, you know, sur uh, submit to the Lord. And, uh, actually, hold on. I think it's in James. The Lord gave me the scripture is in James. Go ahead and read it. Verse 7. Uh, James chapter 4 verse 7. Therefore submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands you sinners. And purify your hearts you double minded. See there, I tell you, you know, the Holy Spirit is always active when we read the scriptures, when we pray unto the Lord, understanding his will, uh, doing what the Lord tells us to do, uh, not to receive the blessings, but to do his will. I think it's very, very important to not be, to, to not be friends with the world, but to be an enemy of the world. And, you know, God gave grace to the humble instead of, you know, give it to the proud. Because the proud, God hates. The, uh, the, the pride, that what God hates. You know, we ought to draw near unto the Lord. Even if, you know, in every situation that we face in. We ought to draw near to God every single day and to learn His ways. Uh, I hope that this this devotional help you to grow closer to the Lord. I hope that this devotion helps you to be encouraged, you know, 
people, we're not alone fighting this battle. Every believer worldwide is, is facing the same battles that you are facing. Some are different, but understand that we got to fight the good fight of faith. No matter how difficult the life is, God is always with us. God is always guiding us when we submit to God and doing His will. That will keep you from, um, from, from doubting God. You know, trust in the Lord. Uh, believe that the Lord will make a way for you to, uh, to, to, to grow closer to God and to uh, uh, overcome obstacles in life. So, I hope that this blesses you. May God bless you. I'll see you guys later.